Battles raging on the outskirts of Bakhmut. Ukrainian troops still defending every inch. Still fighting for every street. But the enemy is closing in. Near enough now for hand grenades. And for many casualties. He's asked if he can feel his left leg. It's okay, he replies. Then a desperate struggle to drag him out of the line of fire. Help us, he says. Ukraine may have to give up the fight in Bakhmut to save lives and resources for battles elsewhere. For now, there's no pullout. We joined this mortar team on the outskirts. Keeping the enemy at bay on their section of the front line. Well, the troops are waiting now for coordinates for their second strike. The target is Russian forces in their trenches about two kilometers away. Day after day and night after night, Ukrainian forces here are battling to hold Bakhmut. Below ground, their commander Ivanko directs the strike with help from a drone. But smart weapons don't change the fact that they are outnumbered. How much longer can they stand their ground? Maybe long enough to deny President Putin a victory on Friday's anniversary. And certainly long enough for more casualties. The wounded keep coming from Bakhmut and other front lines. They could be targeted even here, so we can't reveal the location. Most of the casualties are under 30, Ukraine's future. You can prepare for the medical aspects, says Dr. Miroslav. But it's impossible to get used to the fact that young men are dying who are fighting for the freedom of this country. You can't get used to it. President Zelensky has called this the year of victory. But the reality is Ukraine and its Western allies may need to be ready for a long war. Orlegiran, BBC News, Eastern Ukraine.